Hello, hello, anybody there? No one's home? There we go. <laughs> Lights, camera, action. No action? Lights, camera, action. You hiding from me? Why are you hiding? You don't want to start your class? Anybody home? I'm all alone over here. Hello. Someone's knocking at my door. Someone's ringing the bell. Do me a favor. And open the door and let them in. Good morning. Good morning. With Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Miss Khadija, did you both sleep well? Of yeah. course. Of course. Probably better than me. Little Joey kept me Today up. Today I'm wearing the shirt. It's so beautiful shirt. Let me see. Beautiful. 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 Wow. I'm wearing this one shirt. And what do you have on your shirt? What do you have? Do you know what kind of pictures? Wait like? a second. Where is the swim now? I have a shirt too, Khadija. Look at my shirt. I'm waiting for you girls to come so we can go to Disney. Who do I have on my shirt? Minnie and Mickey. Yes. Love. love. You saw the word love. That's awesome. So let's get and started. My shirt. I know it's beautiful. I love it. I absolutely love it. Yours is beautiful too, my love. All right. Can you see my screen? Are we good? Yay! Today's a big day. We start a new month. Today okay. I am going to be my best self. Yes. Say it. Say it. Do your affirmation. Today, Today I'm I going am. to be my best self. Absolutely. And every day you should be your best self, right? Every day. So what Mr. word what word can we Today use is to describe Wednesday? What word? Win me. Win me. Winning? Did we do winning already? No, let's do winning. Can winning you, with us. Can you spell it for me? Winning. 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 No, winning. 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 But winning is, oh, you mean whiny? whiny? No, winning. Winning is windy, like it's windy outside? To me, here is windy. Okay, windy is a good word, but remember, we're working on positive words. Can so we do please, windy? We can do windy. How about but we do another one? Windy and winning. winning. Let's see if it went over. Yeah, it went over. We have to erase it. That's no problem. No problem at all. We will be here all day racing. Let's say it. Okay. Today, Today is... is Windy one winning Wednesday, mm -hmm. December. Good. Thirty first. No. Twenty twenty one. There you go. First, it can't be thirty first. That means we missed every holiday. And we missed all of 
uh, December, if you say that, right? All right, awesome. So today's a new month, a new you, a I new miss. day, a beginning. Let's stretch you know? our neck, stretch, stretch, Did stretch. You say? You stretch. Know? Wait, you gotta stretch a little bit before we begin. Make sure our shoulders are good. Stretch your shoulders, come on. Get ready for your day, get ready. Punch it out if you have to, do whatever you can. Stretch, stretch, stretch. <laughs> Every morning when you wake up, before you get out of bed, stretch with stretch. my muscles. Your muscles are beautiful. All right, here we go. Let's use those muscles for our do now. Can you tell me, Miss Zanab, what is a fact? You should have studied this because you went ahead and you did the lesson in social studies. So let's see. I'm going to test you. And, and Miss Michelle? I'm going to give Ms. you a Yes, and I do, and I do in the October time for learning. Okay, you can do that. We're going to do social studies. If you want to stay, you're welcome. If you want to go and do your starfall, you can do that because we're going to do a little harder lesson today. Yeah, today I need to do this. said that she wants. No, I need to do today's time for learning. All right, you go do time for learning while we work on our social studies, okay? Because I have to give your sister a little checkup, checkup. All right, so tell me, Zena, tell me, do you remember, all right, in five, four, three, two, two one. one zero. All ears for Miss Michelle, please, all ears, I'm waiting on you. Can you tell me, Zena, what's a fact? Do you remember what that means? We learned, you learned it by yourself. I didn't tell you to go on, but let's see. Let's see, you're smart. You can remember it. What? Can you give me something? We learned it yesterday in our story. Remember the genre that we did? Genre? Yes, remember the story? What was the story that we read yesterday? You know, G sound like J yeah. when we say John. Sometimes it does, you look correct. What was the story we learned yesterday? You forgot already? At home in the ocean. Yes, very good. And at home in the ocean, did it give us facts or details? Information. Ooh, so what do you think fact means? Fact gives, fact gives the reader. The reader that get a fact in, fact in information. You got it, shake it, D. You got it. Awesome. So now, what is the difference? No, no, my body's name chicken. Chicken? She's not a chicken. She doesn't. Can you quack like a chicken? Oh, that's a duck. Quack, quack. <laughs> Quack, quack, Miss Quack, quack, you got to go do your, <laughs> you have to go do your time for learning so we can learn too. This is not, this is not a kindergarten lesson. This is your first grade social studies lesson. Okay. You can listen, but you have to be. I know. I, I found for, that. Now, if, what is this word? Up in. Up it out. in up. Let's see. Oh, how many syllables? You got this. Oh. Oh. Khadija, please go and do your homework. I need to learn. Yes, let your sister learn today, Khadija. I love you, and you know I'll be there at 10 o'clock. Okay? Then I'm going to learn one time, not five words. Okay, honey. Go do your work, and then I'll come to you. Bye, bye. Later. Bye, honey. Thank you so much for learning and listening. I really love you. All right. So we have O, 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 Pa, P, E. Remember I, E, O, P, E, O, O, P, E, 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 Oh my God, you got it. So what do you think it means to have an opinion? 
Did we learn yesterday about our opinion? We did not, but you know what? You learned it by yourself when you did social studies last week. <laughs> you did the lesson and you didn't tell me you were doing it. So now Miss Michelle's going to ask you a whole bunch of questions. <laughs> So opinion, let me ask you something. Do you Mr. like Chair, get your um get your your uh which color do you want? Oh I have to change my red. red. Red color. All right, we'll do red. So you. do you like my shirt? Honestly, do you like it? You do. Okay. I like my shirt. I I, I, I have a Disney one. Do you? So you see that? I, I only have the Mickey Mouse one. Okay, but that's your opinion, Zenab. You like my shirt. But let's say somebody else in my neighborhood looks at me and go, says, oh my goodness, what is she wearing? That shirt is so ugly. That is their opinion. Yeah, you see? So we don't have to have the same opinion. I can love you and you can love me, even if we have different opinions. Or my sister. Exactly. You can always disagree, but you can still love each other. Do you understand that? So opinions can, let me write this down. Opinions can be the same or different. It doesn't have to be always the same. You don't always have to agree. If your sister says, I don't like milk in the morning, and you say, I like milk in the morning, well, that's okay. You can't force her to do something that you want her to do. Got I, it? Don't, I don't drink milk in the morning. I know. I'm just using it as an example. Okay. Can you give me an example of an opinion? What do you think? What would be something that you would say is an opinion? If my friend said that, um, oh, you don't look with, you don't look pretty in your glasses. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what would you say to that? What would you say to that friend? I would say, Uh, I would say I look pretty. Or you can say, I'm sorry you feel that way. Repeat, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I, I would say, I'm sorry I, you feel that way. But that is my opinion. But that is my opinion. Yeah, and you are you welcome, know, and, you are welcome and, to your opinion. That is fine. Yeah. And here's what no. I say, Zenam. Here's what I say. If you don't like what I'm doing, change the channel. You understand? Change the channel. Because I'm on one channel. Let's say I'm on channel 10, not really on channel 10. And then if they don't you like have your, my channel, yeah, they can change it. Like if they don't like your YouTube channel, they're all, they're welcome to change it. Don't feel bad if people don't like your channel because that's their opinion. And everything in life, people are going to find fault with. So don't worry you know, about it. When I made videos on my channel, mm -hmm. only 10 people did not like it. Well, that's okay. Don't feel bad. You know? Mommy said, Mommy said that it's okay. Maybe you should rock and roll. Exactly. And mommy has got it. She is right. She is correct. Why are you meowing? You can't come in here. He's meowing. Do you hear him meowing? I okay. Don't hear so now I'm going to ask you a few words. Let's see from last week's lesson. I don't know if you remember it. That's why I'm going to go over a few words. Okay. A few vocabulary words that you learned and see if you remember how to spell them and what they mean. So the first word is going to be where we live. What do we call our planet? City. What? City. 
Okay, city is, yes, you do live in the city, that is correct. But when we talk about planets, are we living on Mars? Are we living on Mercury, Saturn, Venus? What's the name of our beautiful place where we live and we must protect and keep clean? It is mountain. Well, it starts with the letter E. It's a short, short word. And you learned it last week. And I'll review with you if you need me to. E. Uh, okay, give me another one. And then another letter? Okay. There's only three more letters left. I can't give you any more. I'll give you the word. <laughs> you know your planets? No. No? All right. So I only know my my city or country's name. Okay, good. So then we're gonna learn the word. Earth. Oh, gee, where do we live? We live on planet Earth. Earth. Yes. So do you remember learning that last week? Mm. Yeah. So that's why I don't want you to go on to the next story until we read it together. Okay? It's much so more. It's much it's more fun when we do it together because then I can explain things. I can show you different videos. I can add some pictures. So let's wait, okay? Don't do your social studies ahead of time. Work on time for learning, work on Starfall, work on your language arts lessons that I've given you, but don't go on to social studies or science. You got it? You got it? You have to tell, you have to tell mom. Well, no, I'm telling you, so you can tell mommy. All right. Well, mommy says, no, you have to do social studies. Yeah, but I don't want you to go on to the next lesson, okay? The social studies I want you to do is the lessons that we already did. I want you to practice the words that we already did. Like today, I'm going to give you the words. You're going to write them five times, and you're going to write sentences, okay? So the next word was... They talked about, let's see if you remember, in Japan, they had a very fast part of transportation. Do you remember that? They were talking wait. about, say it again. Wait, wait, wait a second. I remember this. I did this last two. I did this um, yesterday. Okay, good. So well, I, I learned that. Japan's trains are called bullet trains. Beautiful, beautiful. I love it. So you do remember. That's why I'm giving you a little checkup. All right. So tell me how to spell the word train. E -er A. You just said er. I don't understand. You said er. Train. Train. I'm going to take my headphones. These are from my dad. It's beautiful. Nice and pink. Right, and, can you hear me? And they know that my favorite color is pink. Okay. So what's the next letter then? You already said er. Tr oh my. Oh my God. All right. Let me wait for you to plug it in. Hey, now can you hear me? I hear you, go ahead. What is it? Spell it for me, please. I can't hear you in my headphone. Oh, because you didn't Mommy? plug it in. You didn't, well, you didn't plug it in. Look. You have to plug it into your computer. I can't hear Miss Michelle in my headphones. Good morning, Cedra. Good morning, how are you? I'm well, uh, you? Miss Michelle, now tell what you were telling me. Oh, she doesn't need to do the next lesson all the time in social studies or science. I'd rather she focus on um, time for learning and starfall. Yes, okay. And then she can wait for me to do the lessons with her because I give extra work with those lessons and I explain and I show more videos. So I would rather she wait for me. Okay? Yes, sure. Okay. All right, thank you so much. Das weiß es gar nicht.
Miss Michelle, speak. Hello, hello. No. <laughs> Hola. Bonjour. How do you say hello in Urdu? Salam alaikum. Yes, assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. I love it. It's long. I don't I don't know how to spell it. I don't know how to spell assalamu alaikum either. <laughs> that would take a whole class. That's what your mommy's doing. She has to teach you that. Show Bluetooth the bus. So you can't hear me through your headset? Testing, testing. No? All right. I while mommy's think... fixing it, while she's fixing it, let's do the spelling for train. T R. Mm -hmm. A. I. A. N. Don't you hear? A. Tray. A. Mm -hmm. A. A. N. Now remember, when you hear the first vowel, the next one goes a walking. Remember, when you connect your vowels, there's two vowels there. A E I O U. Yes. So which vowel shall we choose? E. I. What's the last letter? Did you say it? And yes, you are correct. All right, the next word. What do we no, I carry it in my headphones. Awesome, good. Now the I next word is a little bit longer. So listen to your clue. All right, you ready? Listen to your clue. The word talks about something that people make something that you create. And in the beginning of time, in order to drive or in order to go from one place to another, people had to create different ways of transportation. What do we call those different ways of transportation? They had to make different what? Different ways. Yes, different ways. So what do we call that? Like, let's say I want to create something new. I want to make my dog, my dog um, drink water out of a special bowl. So I need to create that, right? What do we call things that people create? And you make it from scratch. You make it new. Starts in the beginning. And we say, hmm, how can I make this to make people buy it from me? See, my dog, I'll give you an example. Here's a water bottle, right? Well, she likes to drink water out of the water bottle. So you see how the opening is? It's not big enough for her. So maybe I can create a big opening on the top of the water bottle. And then I can carry that. I know you think I'm strange, right? I can carry that with me when I go on my walks. What would I be creating? Give me a letter. A letter. There you go. The so now, now give me three letters. Two letters. That's it. Remember in the beginning of time, people could not travel because they didn't have any way to go from one place to another. So they had, to, how did people travel in the beginning? Do you remember? I know that, I know it. I, I did on social stories. I know you did. That's why I'm asking you to see. Uh, I only remember is that they only used um, horses. Beautiful. They used horses. Great. And what did they use after? And, and uh, wagons. 
wagon. So what did they need to create in order to use the wagon? They needed a horse and a wagon. Okay, what, what makes the wagon move? When the horse goes, then the wagon moves. But how does the wagon move? Doesn't it need something special to make it move? Wheels! Oh my God! Told you you're a genius. So they had to make the wheels, right? So what do we call those wheels that they had to make? That was a new in... In... I'll give you one oh. more letter. In... The... Invisible. <laughs> yeah, I love you. No, it's not invisible because if it were invisible, we wouldn't see the wheel, right? How about another letter? In the another. In the and then. And then what? And then. Have you ever made anything with Khadija and said, mommy, look how good this is. Maybe we should try to sell it to other people. Have you ever tried to do that? Mommy, no. I do not. I do. You don't like to sell your things that you create? No. No? How do we say this word? In the air. Hmm. Invitation. Really? So you're going to give me an invitation so you can create something new? Think about that. Sound I would tell a picture. Ha what? I have an idea. Uh -huh. I only have a one clue that I can tell you. Okay. The clue is that if I may, I have a shop. And I, and I called my shop. Every Everyone's everyone's stuff mm -hmm. and if if i sell a beautiful picture that is um that i drew a uh the hell princess mm -hmm. and i say this is for miss me ship like mm -hmm. in florida well, what if and you, you and and you came in my store and you said, Miss Zeno, can I please have my photo? Well, I was said, uh, Zeno, what if you took your picture, right? And you made your Elsa or your Anna into a statue, <sighs> right? A statue. What is a or, statue? A statue or, you know how you put a little... Um, how would we call that? Like she stands on the dresser, you know, like a little ceramic piece where you make her made out of pottery or ceramic or clay and she stands on the dresser and then she can pour water. Imagine she's pouring water. That could be your invention. You understand? You can do a lot with just your picture. So the third word is invention. But how do we sound it out? Let's put our syllable in, in, in the, in, in, then, Sean. And what did I teach you about T-I-O? Sean. Sean. It's always going to be Sean. Okay. But T-I-O-N sounds like S-A. Yes, Sean. it can be SH2. Remember we talked about that? All right, we have two more words. What do we call another invention that people created was to make cars. What did they put in the car to make the car run? Gas. Well, they didn't really have gas back then. So Gasoline. Yes. Yeah. But they had to put something in the car in order to rum, 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 rum. What's the, what makes the car go rum, 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 rum? Starts with the letter E. And remember, you learned this. So people had to put something in there 
to make the car actually move. E N E N N N N See why I don't want I want you to go ahead in your lesson because if you had studied it with me, you would know all these words already for this week and then we wouldn't have to spend time doing them, right? So the word is engine. 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 That's what I learned it, but I forgot last. Well, that's night. why you have to wait for me. Okay. And they also use boats. What did they use to make the boats go? The small boats. How did they travel? What did they use to make the boat move? A small boat. What were those sticks that they used? Do you remember them? Pedaling. <laughs> pedaling. Not called pedaling. I'm going to show you a picture. Give me one second. Oh, you see that Khadija and mommy. <laughs> you know what is Khadija doing? She, mommy is trying to learn. Mommy is trying to help her learn in um time for learning. <laughs> the last she's doing. Also, she's doing her time for learning. Do you see a picture of these? Your screen is a very big too. I'm not showing it to you. Hold on. Let me show you. Okay, so do you see a picture of these? Images of do you see this? Oars. Oars. Do you remember learning about the oars? I I know, I know. Have I learned this yesterday. That's what I'm trying to say. You see, if you waited. And, for and they said that. And they said that. um Oars that people call are pedals. Pedals. Okay. We're going to call them oars. For now. <laughs> Have you ever used oars before? Mommy? Did I ever use oars? Oars. In a boat? In a boat? Yes, in the bay. In the bike, we did. You can't use them on a bike. <laughs> you can use pedals. Pedals? For... No, no. I said we use them in Dubai. Oh, in Dubai. I thought you said on a bike. <laughs> I had a picture of you riding a bicycle <laughs> using oars. <laughs> That's silly, Miss Michelle. How can they do such a thing? Do you, <laughs> do you remember how to spell the word oars? O-A-R-S. Beautiful. So now these are the words that I want you to use. I'm going to take a picture. I'm going to put it on Class Dojo. And, these are the and I have to make sentences and write them. You're absolutely correct, Amanda. Yes, you are correct. Okay. Mommy, so all these words that I learned today, I have to make sentences and write them. Okay, sure. Okay. So we will do that later. I will put it on Class Dojo and you'll do that. Let's move on to the next social studies lesson. And remember, I love, next, next I love week, Wednesday. Yes. Next week, don't do the next lesson because if you do it, we're going to have a little bit of issues trying to get Check rid of Check up again. <laughs> we have to do another check up. And it might be even harder. Did this. I remember I did it. I know you did it. That's why we're not reviewing it. Where is Japan? Do you remember where Japan is? That's an interesting question. Do you remember where it is? Hmm? Go on. Now it says, where is Japan? What Use ocean? your favorite color. Well, what ocean is next to Japan? Make it bigger. 
make it bigger. Let's see if I can make it bigger. What it's ocean? Tough. What ocean do you see? Pacific Ocean. Yeah, well, let's put a bigger map and see where Pakistan is to Japan. Let's see, let's see. Map of the world. And let's see if we can find- Ms. Michelle, can you make your screen bigger? I'm honey, I'm trying. There it is. All right. Let's yeah. See. Yeah. All right. So if you come, I don't know if they're going to show me. Let me see if they're going to show Japan on this. Yes, they will. Yes. Okay. So if you, I'm going to get my little. Oh, oh my God. I'm going to do it in mm -hmm. white. All right. Do you see Japan by any chance? Make it bigger. Bigger? I don't know if I can. Because. I have glasses. I, I have glasses. We are four, and we both, we are three that are in the class that are usually girls. That's, that's as big as I can get it. You can't see it? No, you can't see? Let me get my white pen, and then you can see. If you come over here, you will see. Shop Japan. Yeah. I see South Korea. South Korea, yes, is not far. And you have Pacific. North Korea. Yes. Now, if you come a little bit this way, okay, so if we do. I our see Canada. Look, we have North. What's on the bottom of North? We did this before. South South. Africa. I actually have to change my color because you can't see it. So this is north. This is south. This is yeah. east. And, and we'll that is west. That is west. So you remember. You know, my pinky color lives in Canada. In where? In Canada. Oh, wow. Well, let's look what Canada is. So here, let's take a look so you understand. <laughs> the on west. West. Japan, okay, near the Pacific Ocean. If you travel west in this direction, look at my arrow. You're going to go through China and take a look. What is this country over here? And what what's but next? Actually, I live in Asia. Okay, well, yes, Asia is your continent. And we studied continents before. Remember, we did a little song. What country is next to Pakistan? India. Yeah. And India. what's the other country on the other side of Pakistan? What do we call that? Af do you know it? Afghanistan, Afghanistan. It's kind of hard to see. It's, yeah, it's, it it's sounds like Pakistan. Now, if you go a little bit more west, you'll see Saudi Arabia. Mommy said that you were in, where did she say you were? Saudi Arabia? Uh, no, where did she say? What was the country she said you were in? Before? Pakistani. No, where you lived before. Ask Texas. Her. Which one? Texas. I don't understand that. Ask her where you were before. Before Texas. Pa no, Texas is not a country, though. Texas is a state, and we got to go over all the way over here. In USA. No, she said you, you learned how to to ride in a boat with oars. Where do, oh, Dubai. 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 So where is Dubai? Dubai should be over here. In... No, not Dubai. 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 Okay, Dubai. I say it like you, darling. Okay, whatever you say, I say it. I repeat it like you. Dubai. If you come to this country here, Libya, Look at that. That's where my daddy was born. He was born here. And see how close you are? You're in Pakistan. And your mom? 
My mom was born in the United States. Okay. And that's where I am with your daddy. We're in the United States. So you see how far you are? Here's Pakistan. Here's Japan. And here's the United States. Isn't it exciting? One day, Zenob, you're going to get to travel all over the world. And don't forget to take me, okay? I'm expecting. And I will miss Pakistan. You will? What do you like about Pakistan? Actually, my um, best friend was in uh, my uh, school when I was five. Mm -hmm. And uh, she had a uh, bracelet that we were on a hand. She said that on her place, bracelet. It, friendship bracelet? It's, uh, like a friendship no. bracelet? On her place, bracelet, it it was i love pakistan oh that's sweet All right let's go but back. then later we got fighted on something oh what happens don't worry everybody argues uh actually she she did not share anything oh. That's okay. That's, That's part of life. But you know, you know how much you love yourself, right? So when you say, I love myself, that means that you can also love other people. The more you love yourself, the more you show love to other people. And those little things don't matter. Sharing, ah, no big deal. You know, you have to learn that it doesn't matter. Because remember what I said? You put yourself in a love what? Love bubble. And if you put yourself in your love bubble, anything that anybody says tries to hurt you, you say, I'm in and my love she bubble. Even, even, and she even said, you are my best friend. Yes, and she's still your best friend. Best friends can argue. Best friends can have different opinions, right? But you don't have to fight over it because you see one opinion, I see another. That doesn't mean I don't love you. I still love you. Okay. All right, let's talk about it. Can you read number one? Some of some of the fastest, fastest trains, trains in the world are the bullet trains that I tell you in Japan. Fact opinion. Broken. Fact. Yes. And can you tell us why it's a fact? Hmm? Can you tell me why it's a fact? Now it's looking like that I am in college. <laughs> yes, you're in college. You know, when Miss Michelle teaches, she teaches you college, right? because I want you to grow and grow and get smarter and smarter. And by the time you get to college, you're going to be so smart. Your brain's going to fall out of your head. It's going to get so big. So it's a fact, my love. Because and, and everyone going to say, I don't know how her brain gets back. <laughs> yes, you're going to walk around and your brain can stick out of your head. That's going to be pretty funny. But So fact. You can prove it. You can Google it. You can go on the train. You can prove that it's the fastest train. And if you can prove it, it's a fact. What if I tell you bullet trains are ugly? Is that a fact? No, opinion. Why is that an opinion? Bullet trains in Japan are fact. I understand. But if I look at the bullet train and I go, oh, Zenob, I'm not going on that train. Look how ugly it is. Ugh, it's white. It's so long. I don't like it. And I keep whining and it's so ugly. Is that my opinion? Or is that a fact? No. That's when, not your opinion. Right. If you look at the train, you might say what? I would say 
this is my opinion. Mm -hmm. And I would say, wow, I've never seen a bullet train very long. Right. Well, maybe that train is just the most beautiful train you've ever seen. So you see how we can have different opinions. How about number two? Many of the first people who lived in art walked, walked wherever they want, fact or opinion. Fact. Very good. Can you tell us why it's a fact? Miss Michelle, why did you change your color? I know, I got tired of red. Red is so, <gasps> see, my opinion about red is <gasps> scary. Looks like blood. I don't want to see that. Are you know? Which so, color is this? I can't really see. Is it pink? No, this color. I don't know. Looks like a tan color. Is it tan? It, uh, it is brown and. Well, my eyes, you know, Miss 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 Michelle's eyes are not that good. <laughs> All right. So why would this be a fact that they could walk everywhere? Why is that a fact? You know, smoke. It's true, though, right? They could only walk because they didn't have any new what? New trains. They didn't have trains. They didn't have wagons. Wagons. They didn't have cars. Cars. They didn't have <laughs> horse. horses. All they could do was walk. So what do you think? Do you think the people in the beginning of... Well, if I walked on earth and I said, Mommy, I'm tired. <laughs> well, Zena, <laughs> the truth is they didn't really know the meaning of tired. You know, they, they didn't know any better. They didn't know that they had cars and planes and trains and buses. They didn't know anything about that. So they had to walk everywhere. They had to probably walk with no shoes too. Here's a fact. Here's a I did not have shoes. Let me, let me see if my you... toes would burn. <laughs> let me see if you know the difference now. Listen, do you think the people, the first people who lived on earth, do you think they were skinny or fat? Okay, so why do you think they would be fat? What is your opinion on that? No, they would be skinny. And why? Why do you think they would be skinny? They walked. Oh, so what do you, what conclusion can you make? What does walking do for you? I, walking and your cage. Your weight can lose when you walk. That's right. Have you ever seen what the first people in the world look like? We'll see that picture later. Hold on. First people in, on earth. Let's see if they show us. So you have an understanding. Image. Let's see if they show you. Hmm. Do you see who these people were? Let me clear my screen, hold on. So these basically, do you see them wearing clothes? Can you, can you go on it? I'm trying. Oh dear, it looks like a monkey. <laughs> that's funny. So that's what they said. They said that we started out, look, we started out looking like monkeys, and then eventually be, we became people. That's what they said. Those were the first people on earth. First people. They started to have the face of the, the monkey, and people didn't have clothes in the beginning, right? 
So they had to wear, sometimes they'd cover their private parts with leaves. <laughs> they, yeah, they take the leaves from the trees and they cover themselves. Or maybe they had to kill an animal and they would take the animal skin and make clothing from the skin. Kind of weird, huh? I know. Are you happy you live now, not then? <laughs> if I was a monkey, I could even walk on the earth and I would run, run fast. Yes. How about number three? Can you read that? Flying in on an, an aeroplane is the best way to travel. Mm -hmm. Fact. I want you to think about that, okay? Opinion. Why? No, fact. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not playing the lottery with you. You can't make up your mind. Pick number 20. No, pick 28. No, pick four. Make up your mind. Which not? So what do you think? Be, be solid in your answer. Okay, I disagree with you. It is an opinion. And the reason it's an opinion is because for me, flying in an airplane doesn't work. I don't like it. That's why I can't come to you in Pakistan. Okay. I get sick on the airplane. I, but how? I don't like it. I feel mm -hmm. sick when the airplane ascends, it goes up and it descends. Miss Michelle takes her bag in the airplane and I go, <laughs> I don't really, <laughs> I just get ready. And then the people sitting next to me look at me like, who is this person? Get away from me. So I like to travel by car. For me, that's the easiest way to travel. Do you see how that's <laughs> my opinion? You like flying in the air. Well, I know. My opinion is that if I fly in an airplane, there is no air. I can't breathe. It's hard, right? So that's why on the top, they have a little... Um, like fan yeah a little fan you open it and it gives you some miss michelle i'll learn one time oh, but yeah. i i when i was going to pakistan in a plane i opened the fan and i breathe but i love to fly were you wearing a mask yes so i took off the mask Oh, you did. And I and I breathe, and then the captain said that please, please put your safety belts on. Now we're gonna land the plane down. So I I put my seat belt very tight, and I said wee, and the, everyone on the airplane said, "Is this kid weirdo?" <laughs> So did you feel sick when you were on the airplane or no? It doesn't make you feel nauseous. No, it was so fun. I said, Mommy, can we please go again? My, my daughter loves to fly. As soon as the airplane gets in the sky, I thought, oh, I don't like it. You know, and if I went in this cold winter season, my toes and my hands would freeze. No, it wouldn't because you would wear socks and boots and gloves. So no, but then I traveled the first time in a winter. Oh, cold. But it, I, it was so freezing. I said, Mommy, please. Next time you travel, make sure you're ready. Gloves and socks. Yeah. I, I forgot to wear my gloves and socks, but oh. they were in my bag. Well, next time, right? Next time. All right, we're not going to do this entire lesson, and you're not going to do it before me. We're going to do it next week, but I want to get you ready. We're still going to continue with fact or fiction. Do you recognize the man who's in this picture? Why we can't? 
you know who that is? No, have you ever seen him before? No. His name was Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. And he helped people who were African American, or maybe you don't know the word African. -American. He helped people who were black, black people. In America, in the United States, many, many, many years ago, Zena, black people were not treated fairly. They could not go to the same restaurants as white people. They could not eat where white people ate. They could not sit in the front of the bus, the city bus. They were treated terribly. They could not swim in the same swimming pools as white people. They could not drink out of the fountains, water fountains that white people drank out of. What do you think of those facts that I just told you? What is your so this So this man helped them? This man helped them to have freedom and we're gonna learn about him more but I wanna know what your opinion is about all the things that I just told you, all the facts that I just mentioned. What is your opinion on that? If I was a black person, I would be, I would be treated very terrible. Yeah. But the great thing that I, I am very, very thankful and grateful to God is I am very grateful that I have my skin white. Yes, but even if you have your skin black, you should be grateful because people yeah. are people, right? It doesn't matter what color skin people Well, you know what happened in my classroom? Mm. The last time when I was five, uh, there was a black kid who learned in my school and teacher... black, Zena, let's use the word here. I'm going to share it with you. You see this word? We don't really say that they are black because black is a color of skin. It's not like we say, hey, we're white, you know, let's use the correct word. We call them African American. Can you say it? Yeah, African American. So, and the boy in my class, go ahead. No, it was a girl. Oh, a girl. And the all, all the girls learned in the girls' classroom, and all the boys learned in the. Classroom. Oh, so it's separate. Okay. And the teacher treated her very terrible, and <gasps> yes, that breaks my. Heart. And I said that. It's okay. When my teacher said to me, you should never forget it. When someone is African American, it doesn't mean that you are a, a black person. It mm -hmm. means that you have a love bubble. Mm -hmm. And never ever forget that you have a bubble, love bubble. So the teacher didn't treat the child nicely. What did yeah. the teacher do to the Every child? day, every day, the teacher didn't treat her very nicely. But what do you mean by that? What did the teacher do to make the student unhappy? She said, go away and take your homework. So you could see automatically that the teacher wasn't nice to her. How did that make you feel, Zenob? It broke my heart. Right. right, because people are people, right? It doesn't matter what the color of your skin is. Do you know my daddy had very dark skin? Did I ever show you a picture of my daddy? No? I'm going to share with you a picture. My daddy was not African American, but he was very dark. Hold on, I'm going to take a picture and share it with you.
मम्मी जो प्रॉब्लम ये है कि वो कह रही है कि मैं अब मैं आपको पढ़ाऊंगी and just because and he, see it can't see very well hang on no you can't see no here he I'll... looks to me in the picture very white does he really yeah that's interesting because my dad it was really pretty dark look how about now can you see dark he was a no black black but he was dark he had dark skin and people no nope, i don't see it people didn't like him sometimes because of the color of his skin so that's not nice to do that to people so i love all people i don't care what color they have so we're going to conclude our lesson today for fact and opinion I'm going to send you your homework so you can write your sentences. Are we done? We're done. Next week, I'm going to do all of these stories with you. And it's important you wait because I have a lot of other stories I want to add. Okay. Got it? You have any questions for today? I need to tell you that um, Hadija and me will be bored on weekend. So can you give us a activity that we can do? Oh, I can give you so many projects you will never know. You know what, Zena? You what? have to do your science project. You gotta catch up on those. Remember we talked about some science projects about going out and getting some leaves. You never did your science project. You know, mommy said that it's very hard to do oh. it's very dangerous because if i burn my hand oh. all right so maybe we can come up with some science projects you can do in the house remember we talked if I shall, we can do that on on the second week okay but you said you need projects right so i'm giving you science. no 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 i mean like just like i made a bell princess but i wanted to print it but mommy said make it oh. and i color well, it I your some project then up so you can work on the weekend you know what you can do all weekend read 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 that's the best thing you can do epic 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 and storyline online you will never be bored if you keep reading because every book you read is a new adventure, is a new journey. You will always learn from books. And every book that you read, you can start writing your book reports. Remember we spoke about that? All right, so I'll give you that assignment, but you need to do it. Um, uh, if you wanna let me go on storyline. You can do that. Well, how about, I have an idea. Okay. I will ask mommy for that. What's your well? You have great ideas. What's your idea? So my idea is, I I have a homework report that is about about what? Go ahead. I'm listening. It's Max, but I'll send you on. Are you talking about the edition? Yeah. This ID. Sorry, mommy, for my markers. So your homework for the weekend, weekend, because you said you're bored. I don't want to hear that you're bored. Is to read a story on epic or story line online do we have to i mean like sign account you, you just go on mommy knows how to get on and write a book report for each story that 
you read. And I'm gonna send you the Chris book. Michelle, can you show me how do you go on um storyline so I can hold on so let me send this to you first. Hold on. So you understand what I'm sending you. Hold on. Hold on. This book. And also your language arts. You should be doing that on your weekends if you're yeah thing to do right yeah. all right so i sent this to you when you're writing your book report remember you're including name. your name okay. title author illustrator photographer, photographer. Setting. the setting the characters and you can repeat it all do your um students even do this so now you are ready Zena. remember we were doing this every week with your stories so now you're at the level where you can write it yourself first second you third yeah we can make a picture of every story that you read no, no, well no, that's i don't know you asked me you said what can i do i'm bored there's no such thing in in my language in my world there's no bored I don't even know the word board because when I'm finished with you online, I'm studying too. I'm taking classes. I'm learning how to get more clients, more students. I'm never bored, Zenab. I have work all day long. I have to go food shopping, take care of the house, help my daughter with homework, you know, teach other students. So I'm never bored, sweetheart. And that's if you don't want to be bored, you need to make I sure one of that pictures. you don't want to do a picture. So don't do a picture, but that's going to make your book report look better. You follow? No. Okay. So work slowly, work slowly, do as much as you can. And if you don't want to do a picture, that's okay too. Up to you. I, I remember this is homeschooling. So homeschooling is more freedom. I'm not going to make you do it. I'm not going to say you must do it or you'll get a zero. No, that's not how we work here. Everything is chill. We are relaxed. And your social studies homework is to write each word five times each and write a sentence okay so i give you a lot of homework plus you have time for learning plus you have star fall you know no no can you can you please skip today Jacqueline? what do you want me to skip the vocabulary no, say again skip what time for learning you can skip it. You don't have to do time for learning every day. You can do it three times a week. Okay. I just want me to. I just want to do read. Okay. So remember, Zena, mommy is also your teacher because she's at home with you. So if mommy says she thinks it's a good idea for you to do time for learning, then you need to listen to her. But explain to mommy, say, mommy, you know, I don't feel like doing it today. Can I do it three times a week? And then you can read. If you spend your day reading, you will be so amazed. Your level is going to go so much higher. You'll, you'll probably be in third grade. I'll have to skip from first to third. No, my level. My level. I have to work with Khadija now. So let's go, Khadija. Are you ready? No. Only um, one time, not five. Mr. Show, what's my homework? I gave I you your homework. I gave you the social studies words. Go into um, class dojo. You're gonna class write. Stuff. You're gonna write them five times each, and then you're gonna write a sentence with each one. Okay. All right, my lovey, lovey. Okay. Where's my cheeky? Cheeky, are you home? I'm going to test you today. See if you know all the words. I love you. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. It's a surprise oh, for you. All it's right. a surprise for you. Is it a surprise for me? No way. No way. Surprise? 
I love surprises. Should I close my eyes? Yeah. I am the cheeky surprise. Let me close my eyes for my surprise. Okay. All right. Well, you should be able to read all of these words with no problem. You cannot read that one. All of them. You need to read them like this. Chip. You ready? I want to go chip, and you're going to read all of them. Then only one time. Only one time? Yeah. I want you to read it Nine. five times. Two. No. All right. Three times. Three? All right. I'll give you three. All right. You're ready. On your mark. Get set. Go. Yeah. Go. Oh. And. I. At. At. E. Eight. B. Black. Brown. But. Came. Did. Do. Eat. Four. Get. G. A. D. Don't look at mommy. Gold. O. G. A. G. A. A. D. Okay, so that's a word we're going to come Good. back. Good. Good. Mm -hmm. V. Have. He into like a uh, must no. e Don't look at mommy, you gotta do it by yourself. <laughs> no, today is my mommy cheeky. Mommy's cheeky too? Yeah. <laughs> Silly goosey. All right. E e All right, I'm going to circle it. Remember the words you circle, you have to write. Okay. New, new. new. No. Mm -hmm. no. New. That's new. What is this? Mm -hmm. uh, when you go to the doctor and he puts the stick in your mouth to see your throat. Mm -hmm. what, is, what, do uh, say? what do you say? Mm -hmm. When you fall down and you hurt your knee, what do you say? I know what uh, I say. What? Ah, uh, what? Now. Now, good. Uh huh. On. Out. Try again. Okay. You're doing it. Oh, what? Oh, Please, pretty, ran, <laughs> ran is funny word. <laughs> Did mommy run after you all over the house? <laughs> what happened with ran? Who ran after you? <laughs> the rat run after you. Remember Zach the rat? Uh, 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 
E. Red. Well, remember the E. Remember if it's a silent E, how do we pronounce it? Uh, ride. Yes. <laughs> Sim. Mm, we had a hard time with this yesterday, remember? Saw. Yeah, you know when you see a cute puppy, what do you say? What do you say when you see a puppy and the doggy and you see Charlotte? What do you say? Oh, right? Say oh. And the cat. Say oh. I love always cats. You like cats? I'm going to send you all my cats. Tell mommy to be prepared. They're coming tomorrow. <laughs> see. No, try again. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, sometimes Zenith does something and you go, hey, say, hey. Yes, let me hear. Hey, what did you do? I know you say that when your body does something to you. Say, hey, say, hey. Hey. Now put the S in front of it. What do you say? Say, hey, 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 hey. Say, hey, hey. Today is a beautiful what? She, she, she. Today is a beautiful day. That's what I say. <laughs> Are you going to go out and play? <laughs> play, say, day, right? The month yeah. of May. Remember, A. And, uh, I know that one. C. C. Ooh, ooh, ooh. C. Try again. Sa. Sa, sa, sa. No, no, no. Rhymes with no. No. Saw. It rhymes with no. So what rhymes with no? So. So, there you go. So. So what are you going to do about it, Khadija? <laughs> Soon. Yeah. That. Hmm? There. Um, then. Try again. They, they, they. This, this. This old man, he played. Choo, 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 choo. He played knick-knack on my drum with a knick-knack paddy whack. And that one is that two. Oh, man, go next. Two. Two. Yes. Under. Beautiful. And went. Went. <laughs> All I want for my birthday what? is a little. And was e o a a o ray what a Ooh. Well, yes, white, white, yes, was, it, white.
What? Uh, why? We got it. Who? Oh. What? Eh, oh, well. What? Eh, t. Wet. Yes. Beautiful. I can't. I am so proud of you, Khadija. Give yourself a round of applause. And getting some points. Getting some yeah. points. A lot of points. And put have, yourself on the shoulder. You have eight points. Eight points. So proud of you. I want you to write though these words today. Say good and new. Those are the words you're gonna. <laughs> We're gonna start you soon on second first grade words. That is amazing. Was mommy there? Did mommy hear you do all your words? Yes, I'm here. Don't you feel she's she has, doing really well? Yes, she has first grade uh, side words too. Okay, the okay good. Because you know. I was actually thinking to start with her on that. That's very she's, good. But we still yeah. need to complete, make sure she can read stories in, in kindergarten because she's not done. She still has a lot of stories she's got to cover. Okay. But that's good. Start her with the, the first grade sight words. That's amazing. Let's go into your class, Dojo. Hold on, hold on. Give me some points. Good job there. Lindsay. I'm trying that she, she can memorize all these words. Like she yeah. memorizes the spellings of the yeah. sight words. Yeah, she does. She learns through memorization. Children learn. Sometimes they're able to, you know, she's been sounding yeah. them out yeah. though. She's not too bad. She's come a long way, yeah. Mom. Don't you yeah. think? Yes. From the very beginning, she was yes. not reading them at all. <laughs> she's doing it. She's doing it. I'm very proud of you, my Khadija. Me. I'm going to give you a lot of points. You ready? Participate. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's one. On tap, two. Let's see. Persistence, because that's what you got. Three. three. You got it. You had a test today. It did really well. So I gave you a point for that. Uh, working hard. I'm going to give you two points. Working very hard. Okay. And now your sister had two also. She did participating. Very good today. Very good. She had a lot of hard questions. Working nice. Hard. Let's see your homework. You sent me homework. Let's see your homework. Yeah, let's go see my meat. Okay, so now that you're writing your words, Miss Khadija, now you're gonna have to start writing sentences. That's the key yeah, there. Okay. That, write sentences. Oh, look at how cute. Very cute. What's your favorite animal, that, uh, Khadija? Do you have a favorite um, animal? Um, cat, yes. mouse. And rabbit. So can you have a cat and a mouse in the same house? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You can. That's going to be pretty hard. You know why? Yeah. What's going to happen? Ah! Yeah. What, yeah! Will, what will happen if the cat and the mouse are in the same house? They're going to be happy play. Oh, all right. I hope so. <laughs> Usually the cat likes to chase the mouse. Okay, so you're writing your words. That's really very nice handwriting. Now your job is to write sentences. Let's put that on your screen. Hold on, hang on, where are you? All right, nice going. You know how to say that? Say nice going. Nice going. Yes. That means that you're doing an awesome job. Did you do more homework? Wait a second, I need to send you a one match. Oh, counting. Let me see your counting. Can you count for me to 50? Let me hear. 
one matches to giving. Let me see. Let me see. I'll give you points if you can count to 50. Let me hear. One. Oh, two. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Are you cheating? 11. Look at me. Look at my eyes in the camera. I'm not cheating. Look, look, look at my eyes. I want to see your eyes. <laughs> Keep going. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-five, ah, twenty-three, twenty-seven, what? Twenty-three, twenty-nine. <laughs> you gotta go back. 20. Look, look, twenty-four to so twenty-three. Twenty-five. Go ahead. 25. Mm -hmm. What comes after 25? 27. 27? Hmm. 25, 26, then 27. Yeah. Yeah. What comes after 27? 28. Mm hmm What else? 29. Mm hmm 30. 29, 30. Good. After 30. I love you, Miss Michelle. <laughs> Does that mean you're leaving me? Okay. No! I'm leaving you. Leaving me? Where are you going? Are you taking a trip? No, <laughs> seriously, I need to go on the trip. I'm not going on the trip. I'm home. Just I gonna learn. Oh, what are you gonna do now? When Let me say you something. Show me. Show me. Show me. Let me see. What are you gonna show me? I send you. I love you, Miss Michelle. Goodbye. Let me see. Let me, aw. Wait, let me send you back. See if you can read what I sent. <laughs> what did I send you? What? Where? Can you read what Where? I sent you? Um, that's a good tip. You can't read can it? You? Did you see my chat? Ah. Go. Hugs. I hugs. I'm sending you hugs from me and Mickey and Minnie and Charlotte and Joey. Okay. All right. I see you tomorrow. You're going to study yeah. your words, right? Okay. Study. All right. I'll see you tomorrow. I love you too. Bye. 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 <laughs> All right, you end it on your side. I'm going to check homework. I'm okay. going to do all the homework. And get, you make sure you give me my points. That's good. I give you all your points. I have to add another okay. for homework. So now you have 158 points, and your sister has 205. Who has more points? Okay. Who has more? Do you know? Mm -hmm. You know who? Badgy, badgy, badgy. You gotta catch up, okay? So get all your, all your homework done so you can catch up and beat her. Don't you wanna beat her? No! You don't wanna beat her? No, she will with me. I don't wanna.
want you to beat, beat her. I want you to beat her in school and pass her and go to second grade. She's going to be in the 20 and I'm going to be in the 10. Yes, you're still going to be little. You're right. I agree. All right. See you tomorrow. Be good. Bye. For, be good for mommy. Okay. Bye, honey. I love you. I love you too. Huh? <laughs>